Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scale. On this video, I'm going to do a uh, couple of tests on X900E Sony XBR 55 inch 4K TV. And I'm talking about HDR mode, uh, where I'm going to turn the HDR off and then turn the HDR on. Okay, uh, I purposely turn the HDR off here and uh, I don't know if you you guys probably cannot see it, but one thing I do notice is that the colors are bleak. Uh, the range of colors are nowhere to be found. Uh, the depth between the deep dark levels and the white bright levels are nowhere to be found. Everything looks kind of bleak when it's on the uh, without the HDR. If the HDR is turned off, uh, it just looks bleak. It doesn't look that good. Uh, as you will see, as soon as I turn the HDR mode on, meaning turn as soon as I turn this uh, UHD color on, you will see just that the colors will pop. Uh, the uh, depth between the deep dark levels and white bright levels are going to be more consistent. And of course, the color gamut will pop more efficiently and naturally. And let's do this in about... Uh, four seconds and we'll switch to uh, HDR 10 one two three four all right so here's HDR HDR is turned on and the one thing I noticed obviously is that there's more of uh, uh, depth between the deep dark levels and white bright levels the color looks more natural, pops more natural, and you see more in the distance. Like everything's more lifelike in color. That's because of the color gamut and the dynamic range between the deep dark levels and the white bright levels. And it looks more consistent, looks more natural, and that's what you want with the HDR mode here. Now, as soon as I turn the HDR off, you will see that uh, you're going to have more bleak picture. So in about uh, one, two, three, four, I'm going to turn off the HDR. So let's turn off the HDR right now. And everything looks more bleak, looks more... Uh, it's not horrible, but it's more washed out. Like the colors are not presented in a manner that we just seen with HDR. They're not consistent. They're kind of washed out all over the place. And uh, the peak brightness and the deep dark levels uh, range between the deep dark levels and the white bright levels are kind of washed out. They're nowhere to be found. And soon as I switch to HDR 10, you will see just how much more colorful it's going to be in about three seconds. One, two, three. Look at that color, just how much the color changes here and everything. It just looks more consistent, it just looks much better. Okay, and that's what you want in a, in a movie or in a, any, uh, program that you're watching you want that to be consistent with colors and consistent with the uh, deep dark levels and white bright levels and you definitely get that with the HDR uh, I know it's going to be hard for you to see this with uh, this camera but the reason I'm doing this video is to tell you and point out through my commentary as to what I'm seeing Okay, this is not for me to kind of like uh, show you a holy grail of proof on why HDR is important. That should be obvious by now, but uh, I'm doing this to give you my uh, analysis, my commentary, and point out the difference. Maybe I can show you one more scene where it's more colorful. Maybe that will kind of sink in and, and show you this uh, importance of HDR. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is a good scene right here. Uh, doing a pan and scan 
of these uh, Spitfires information. And what you will see here, it's obviously much better representation of color palette with the HDR turned on. And the clouds are more organized and they're more consistent in more correct balance of natural tone of color okay that's the best way to put it that's because we have HDR now you will see as soon as I turn the HDR off you will notice just uh, how everything's gonna turn out to be bleak the tone of color is gonna change because we're gonna strip down uh, the white color gamut and we're gonna strip down the peak brightness nits and you will see just how much of that you're going to lose and why it's important to have that HDR for a movie like this or any other uh, program. So here, let me show you. In about three seconds, we're going to tur uh, turn off the HDR. So one, two, three. So here, HDR is turned off and everything kind of looks uh, washed out, unnatural and overblown with the green color and yellow uh, it's just not good uh, it just looks too bright and too foggy just not good enough now look what happens when I switch back to HDR and look at the huge improvement you will see and we're gonna do this in about four seconds one two three four and look at the difference it's just a major difference everything looks more natural uh, that the clouds look more consistent with detail everything just looks more consistent with detail okay maybe i can do another scene really quick here just to kind of point out a couple of things okay here we are with another scene in hdr 10 and as you can see here uh the the color uh the deep dark levels the white bright levels everything seems to be more natural and intact and more consistent meaning that it looks lifelike natural as it should with the uh, high dynamic range and this is just gives you a very important message to understand why high dynamic range is so important now look in about three seconds when I turn off HDR just look how different everything will change one two three you see everything's kind of washed out doesn't even look that good anymore uh, looks too bright now look what happens when I switch back to HDR on to UHD color on just look what happens in about three seconds one two three and you can see drastic difference right here HDR is turned on and look when I turn it off in about four seconds. One, two, three, and we'll do it on four. As you can see, everything looks kind of bright and washed out. Now, if you never experienced HDR, you will think this is normal. But if you have HDR, you will realize, wait a minute, there's so much I'm missing in the picture that the film director intended, uh, DP, you know, uh, intended, all of uh, these people involved making this movie intended for, for you to experience this film, okay? So let me turn it back on in about one, we'll do it in about uh, four seconds again. One, two, three, four. And you can see uh, uh, in color, just in white color gamut, it's a drastic difference. So there you have it guys, uh, hopefully this video kind of gives you some idea on why the HDR is so important, okay? Even though I have uh, already made that video, I kind of explained that video, uh, but uh, this gives you a little tiny little clue as what you are missing without HDR. So there you have it guys, by the way it's a great movie, check it out, uh, Dunkirk, directed by Christopher Nolan. Uh, Kenneth Branagh's in it. So thank you guys. Enjoy it.
Cheers.